Merida, Mexico. Once was the richest city in the world, and as of now, the second safest city in the Americas, second only to Quebec and Canada. Look at that, this is like downtown. And this church right here is the second oldest one in the Americas. Oldest one being Santo Domingo Dominicana, but it's already ruined, so they call it Las Ruinas, but this is the only one that's standing right now. In Mexico, Merida, baby! Hello, hello! I'm taking tour, tour bus, double deck bus, going around Merida, cost 120 pesos or about six US dollars. You see now is the uh, cathedral right to the biggest park. And we're gonna go around and look at the architectures in Merida, who was once the richest city in the world <coughs> for producing the ropes. Back in the old days, you know, on the ship they used ropes. That was the, uh, the uh, means of transportation is using ropes for the boats. Right here you see the uh, upper house of Merida. It's like two, three hundred years ago that was when it was built. And keep going along. Wow, look at all the small little parks everywhere. You know, it's old because by looking at the trees, they are old trees, they kind of cover up the whole city. And the city is hot as hell, but those trees around, it actually cooled it down. Uh, just thousands of thousands of mansions like this. Unbelievable. The city is super, super clean. Uh, and people just don't throw trash everywhere like other cities in the U.S. like Houston, uh, San Francisco, uh, especially L.A., you know, where they see homeless everywhere. This here, maybe two or three homeless that I saw, and they're actually not lazy, they're just mentally disturbed. So, you know, that's just about it. People take care of themselves here. Uh, Merida is not pretty well known like other cities like Puerto Vallarta, Guadalajara and it's only about six hours by bus from the airport from the airport you take a ADO bus cost you about five dollars and from to uh, central uh, Cancun from central Cancun you take the same ADO bus first class direct air conditioning bathroom the whole thing for Oh, about 26 US dollars. As you see here, it's like the old hotels. Back in the old days, people actually come here. Uh, beautiful architectures. I think they, what the Spaniard did was they tried to imitate the city of Merida in Spain. This is the capital city of the Yucatan province. And you see here, if not for the trees, I would be able to see a lot more of these arch architectural uh, wonders. Some of the houses are just empty. Nobody lived there. I'm sure they're for sale. If you got the money, give me a comment and I'll try to contact the people there. As you see here, uh, parks everywhere you know there's so many parks and cities in Mexico uh, that's why it's gonna explain why there's less suicide or crazy people in Mexico because you know when they got problem with their wives their boyfriend girlfriend they just go to the park hang out in there you know all day long listen listening to the uh, mariachi songs and you know they're good or you know a few shot of tequila a hey, Chinese restaurant yeah there's 
Chinese restaurant everywhere here, but it tastes like shit. Anyways, come along through the cities of Merida. This is just like a fraction of the houses that you see here. You know, look at that. It's all mansions. Back in the old days, they don't build tiny houses. They built mansion and mansions everywhere. And what's amazing is that all the weather, the hurricane, the uh, earthquake is not destroying all these uh, houses mansion because they're built to last. Uh, unless, un unlike other uh, uh, countries in the world, like. Uh, maybe Ecuador or uh, Colombia, Panama, uh, or the countries in the Caribbean. These places are built. I mean, look at that house. Oh my God, it's just amazing. It's increíble. And until today, they may. Oh, look at that house. Looks like the H. E. Anderson house. These are old hotels, they're like over 200 years old, you know, that's before the credit card, before the, uh, uh, look at this park right here, uh, in the middle of nowhere, and the vegetation, the flowers, there is manicured daily, people don't throw trash anywhere, uh, look at all that beautiful trees, in Merida, Mexico. Uh, not many people come down here except maybe around 20,000 uh, expat or retirees that discover Merida. They would live here for about six, seven months. And then uh, around May, June, July, it's super, super hot. It's uh, unbearable. So they would go to different cities, but when you go to Mexico, you know, you get a visa on arrival automatically for six months. So why not stay in Merida for six months and then go to a cooler place like uh, boring places like Ajijic in Mexico or uh, Lima, Peru. Lima, Peru is another amazing city, but during this COVID-19, the uh, every other country is, it requires quarantine, PCR tests, or wear masks and shield over your face. But in Mexico, there ain't no need for quarantine or tests. But everybody's wearing masks. I don't think that it helps anything. But another interesting uh, fact about the Mexican: as of six years ago, everybody take anti-worm. Uh, Truck because the government thing because the Mexicans got, all got big bellies they must have a uh, worm so they've been taking ivermectin uh, propolastic every six months they pop it up uh, and that's probably why the uh, infection is just not as much of this as the US and they don't broadcast everywhere how many death, how many at the hospital. Nobody knows. They just put their masks on and go on their merry ways. You know? But in the restaurant you don't have to wear a mask because everybody knows there's no virus in the restaurant. Guys. It's a secret. You know, as soon as you open, you know, go to Starbucks the whole thing, there's no more uh, virus. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we come to the end of the tour. Uh, it's getting pretty hot up here. And we have just go around this park, the main park, which is right across from, uh, from the cathedral where you catch the, the double deck bus. Uh, this place is amazing too. This is next to the cathedral. And look at the art that they put in here. And then when you walk in here, you hear the, uh, the choir from the church with the music. And it's pretty creepy. Uh, the Mexican are infatuated with the death. You know, they're just Mexican.